Okay, with Creator's Update, uh, Edge has a lot of new features, a lot of new extensions. Uh, here's a couple of things for tabs that uh, are brand new, or at least modification of an old one. I'm going to open up uh, about a set of three tabs here. So I'm opening up three news tabs, basically. <clears throat> CNN, uh, let's do uh, ABC, I guess, or Fox, and then ABC. And once we get them all set up and everything, uh, we're going to take a look at them. So once you have your tabs open, no matter if you have one or a bunch, uh, you're able to hub over the non-active tab usually, and you'll see a thumbnail beneath it of the actual content. Uh, that hasn't quite finished loading, but there you are. There's CNN, and you can see the content on the page. Uh, you can do that on any one of the other tabs as well. Uh, let me click on another one over here, Fox News. And let's hover over uh, ABC. And then you'll see that. And hover over that, you can see that. But now, besides having being able to do one at a time, there's a uh, new feature. You'll see just to the right of the plus sign for adding a tab, you'll see one that is a downward carrot. It says show all tabs, and there they are. You'll see any one of them. So you can actually see them all the time. So you can compare tabs and see which one you want to uh, go to in comparison to the other ones. Now you'll see if you go over to the left here and you go to the second item over, you'll hover over that and you'll see there's a new icon there. And that is Save These Tabs feature. So if you click on that, what it does, it takes your open tabs and saves them. And it will automatically open up the home page. But now that you have that, you want to go take a look and you go to the far left and you'll see the icon to view your tabs, the ones you set aside. I've already done this a couple of times, but you see those are the ones I just did. And here's some I did earlier. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. So there we have the uh, tabs that I've saved for later use. Now there's a couple things you can do. You can click on a tab, right click on it and say remove. Uh, but if you click on one, it will remove it from your save set and restore it to uh, active use. So you may or may not want to do that if you want to save your set. Now, if you don't need that set anymore and you're done with it, you only want to do that one, let's say, you can click on the X there and it deletes it, and now your save sets are blank. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set up some other uh, websites here. Now, what I've done is I've opened up some business sites, uh, web development site here, and a couple of my old guy geek sites. And I went in and said save the tabs. It opened up a new page. I go over here and take a look, and sure enough, it has... That's set there, plus I still have my old set that I had uh, from before. So if I remove that, I mean I restore them, it restores uh, them there, and I still retain the other set here. And I can restore these as well, and all of a sudden I will have six tabs open. So now that I have six tabs open, I'm going to use that other feature. I'm going to go take a look at it, and you can see I can see all the sites that are available to me. Now there's one more feature to this. I'm going to close uh, some tabs here uh, and leave those three up, okay? And I'm going to leave uh, just those three. I'm not even going to leave the new tab over here. I'm going to get rid of it as well. And you'll see that it has three tabs up here. So if I go over here and I save it again, and there they are. If I look here right next to where it says uh, Restore Tabs, you see the three dots there? Add tabs to favorites. So I'm going to click on this and you'll see the favorites open up and sure enough, uh, there it is with the date you added it. One thing about this, you'll see there's only two tabs there. It didn't save the third tab and I'm not sure exactly why, uh, but uh, maybe it's a bug and maybe it'll be fixed later. Uh, but play around with it and then you can create your own tab sets and see how well it does for you. Uh, if you notice here, I have three of them because I did three of them today and it just adds the qualifier uh, at the end. So they'll be marked one, two, three, whatever, if, how many uh, times you did that that particular day. Now, you can also rename these. If you click on it, you notice here, and I change this one to My Business Tabs, and now it's a shortcut called that. I can do the same thing with that, or I can delete the other ones. So there you have it. There are a couple of new tab functions that come with uh, uh, Edge and the Windows 10 Creator Update.